Good morning, and thank you for joining me for your morning shot, where every morning we take just a moment to reflect upon the wisdom of various industry leaders, thinkers, and innovators to guide our day. Let's get to it. There's a story in Napoleon Hill's famous book, Think and Grow Rich, that tells us the tale of two ambitious men who gave up their gold mining dream only three feet away from hitting the mother load. The story in its own right, famously referred to as Three Feet from Gold. If you've never heard this story before, I highly suggest picking up Hill's book, as it indeed is a classic far beyond just this story. But for our purposes here, we'll share just a brief summary. Essentially, there were two men caught up in the gold rush that decided to try to make it out west to dig and grow rich. So they headed out on their journey to Colorado and bought the equipment they needed to start digging. At first, they were pulling in so much gold, they thought they just hit one of the richest mines in Colorado. In just a short period of time, they had nearly recouped the full cost of the machinery, and they could faintly taste life in the fast lane. But then all of a sudden, something happened. The vein of gold disappeared. They had come to the end of the rainbow, but kept drilling frantically trying to find it again. Long days and even longer nights of relentless and frantic drilling, but to no avail, it seemed it was all lost. So they quit. The two men sold off their machinery to some junk man for a fraction of what they bought it for and headed back home, tail tucked between their legs. The dream was over. But guess what? Not for the junk man. The junk man decided based on what he came to understand of that mine, that maybe Just maybe it was worth hiring an engineer to do a little bit of math and flesh out what went wrong. Well, wouldn't you know it, the engineer's calculations came to find that the project failed because those men were not familiar with what's called fault lines. And in fact, in his calculations, showed that sweet, sweet vein of gold that they were looking so desperately for was only three feet away from where the quitters stopped drilling. And that's exactly where it was found. And as for the junk man, the junk man made millions. There's an old saying that goes, more gold has been mined from the brains of men than has ever been taken from earth. Let me repeat that one more time. More gold has been mined from the brains of men than has ever been taken from earth. Isn't that an incredible line? Many of us have been raised under the impression that hard work alone is the recipe for success. But what we find here is maybe that's not the whole truth. The two men traveling west completely ignorant to the industry they set out to conquer, not only to find that that such ignorance coupled with arrogance to neglect seeking the experienced counsel would ruin them. But credit where credit is due, their work ethic of course was impeccable. The point here is to know your strengths and outsource your weaknesses. Think smarter, then work harder. And for God's sake, let's put our pride aside and give ourselves the time for that miracle to happen. When you feel like quitting, maybe in a business venture, fitness routine, or relationship, ask yourself, what would I do if I knew I was only three feet from gold? Today. Today I'm grateful for the understanding that I can't possibly know everything in my line of work, so I'm completely comfortable with putting my pride aside and hiring the best to offset my weaknesses. I appreciate you joining me. Hopefully you can find a way to apply your shot into today. Until tomorrow, have a better day today than yesterday.